And um, I'm someone who believes that you don't force students to turn their cameras on. And so I've been working on how do I get to know them really well without having their cameras on. And they're happy not to have their cameras on for connectivity reasons, for comfort reasons, for privacy issues. They have all these different reasons. I've asked them about that. Um, and so what I've actually been doing is those community building resources that we've developed, I've been trying a lot of them in my class. Um, one of them that I was just talking to someone about in another conference like five, 10 minutes ago, the annotating the syllabus one, since we're you know with you guys. Uh, it was a Rami Kalir that did that resource for us. And um, the students loved it because first of all, they actually read the syllabus, which was cool. Uh, and we did it on Google Docs. We didn't use Hypothesis because that's where my syllabus is. Uh, but the idea of, they got the idea of annotation so that first of all, they were able to ask me questions they needed. And then once we got started with the course, um, to reduce the workload on students, I think this is another challenge is that because of the trauma of the pandemic, students are not used to managing their time. Online learning takes a lot of time management. Um, the, I've been doing more annotation than written work so that they don't feel like it's a lot of work. And it's also less work for me to grade. It takes me less time to grade it because I don't actually grade on the quality. I just want to make sure that they've read the article and they have questions on it or comments on it. So that's just what